well Daniel, how are you? I'm not too bad, how are you guys? Good. I'm, the, I'm absolutely flying. Um, for all our fans, uh, we're at the uh, Stuart International's yard, but it's not just Stuart International anymore, Daniel. No, it's a wee agri division developed now as well. <laughs> well, there always was, but it's got its own name now, Stuart Agri. That's right, and you've been contracting for many, many years. I mean, your dad's uh, been left in silage ever since I can remember. Yeah, and Grand Jack as well. Okay. So you're, you're um, pushed on this year in the Agri division. This is a completely new outfit behind you. Yeah, we've bit the bullet and we went, bought ourselves a pipe system. And it's the first year of it, so, so far so good anyway. And it's uh, an egg quip. It's an egg quip, yeah. It's a 12 meter dribble bar and drop out reelers. This egg quip's first drop out reelers that he's made. And it's very, very well impressed with it now. And I suppose at this stage in the season, it's only it's only in the middle of February. You haven't been out no, that it's, much. No, it's, it's been quiet now, but it's enough to keep us going. Um, we're busy last week now, it's just the wire's going to turn now again, so we'll try again. <laughs> You've went with the buyer right, pump? Yes, the buyer pump. Um, thousand, I think it's a thousand buyer pump. You didn't look at the Dota pump? Because they, you know, there's a, I suppose it's doctors there for patients day, but... Well, yeah, but it made it handy just for iQuip, that's the one they sold, so we just thought, keep it all the same, try it. They had a good name about them, so we'll, we'll trust their reputation. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, there's something else I must admit now. There was a there was a picture put up on Facebook uh, a few weeks ago by yourselves that kind of took Facebook by storm. You didn't just take delivery of uh, a new pipe system. You bought a couple of tankers. We did. We did. We bought uh, two Red Rock 4,000 gallon tankers and we ordered them in our own colours. We sort of says we'll make it nice, make it match the tractor. So. We made them with blue, um, with white rims as well. So, and not only that, there. I mean, is it fair to say slurry wasn't really something you did a lot of before? Not really. We just sort of done our own and helped the neighbour bits and pieces like that. So we just it's a big step. Like <laughs> I was going to say, it's it's all in. <laughs> it's all in. <laughs> all or nothing. And the tankers are absolutely. Oh okay, yeah, we're well well pleased with them now. And you went. Boom, overhead boom system? Overhead boom system. We just, we got what we needed to start off with. Overhead boom, air brakes, steering axle, seven, ten tires. Just your standard spec tanker really nowadays. What pump's on the tanker? There's a 13,000 litre pump on the tankers. We uh, opted for the bigger one, just for the bigger tanker. Um, just to try and speed the whole show and up. You could see it there, but because they were when they were filling there, now it wasn't long of filling. No, they're they're going really well. They're going really well. Um, the Red Rock put a uh, exhaust silencer on them to try and quieten down the tone of the pump, which I thought was a really good idea, and working well as well. It's actually very quiet. That it was is, one, yeah. one of the things I said not very quiet, except whenever it's full. You can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, di There's a you, difference. If, if, you, if you fell asleep in the cab now, you'll get woke up whenever, <laughs> whenever it's full. And uh, the lorry side of the business, uh, obviously, you are very well known, Stuart International. And, and uh, one of the last times we were here, um, or Gary's been here, you brought a, a R820 Fenton home for us there. Mm -hmm. Gary was up, picked it up not that long ago. But even when we go right back a few years when you built the new workshop, and, and it's looking really well, by the way, this is where we first laid eyes on R7810, John that's, Deere. That's right, that's right. <laughs> we come and investigated it and found <laughs> it here. So, But what all does uh, Stuart Agri do as well? Um, well, we've been cutting silage for a long time too. Um, as I say, Dad has been cutting it and Grandma Jack. Um, we'll do a fair bit of silage. Silage was our main you know, main job, but now we're trying to branch out a wee bit. Absolutely. Try and get a wee bit more work. Now, is it all yellow and blue? It's all yellow and blue. <laughs> Never been tempted to try any other colours? Well, I had a John Deere years and years ago, but that, that didn't work out very well. And I don't think Dad took a liking to them, so <laughs> it's been blue ever since. And I can see uh, over in the corner there, uh, there's a project. There it is. <laughs> that, that's a working project, it's going well, it's just, it needs a wee bit of cosmetic. Okay. I had it going last year. Um, 
uh, yeah, it was all tuned up and ready to go for, for that. And we got a wee uh, demo earlier on of the, uh, the, 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 the county and the harvester with the engine <laughs> on as well. It, it, it's really sweet. And start it on the bottom, my oh, eye that's, that's, that's Dad's pride and joy, that one now. <laughs> well, you can understand why. <laughs> you can. <laughs> It's a nice oh, bit of kit. Really, really nice. Really nice to see them going too. Well, with your pipe system now of this, have you done, have you any experience yourself? Never pipe? done any pipe system work okay. before in my life. Done a bit, I've done tanker work, but never a pipe system. So have you put any knots in it yet? Oh, lots of knots. <laughs> Still paint on any lace. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you feel when that happened? You just sort of have to get on with it, don't you? What tractors have you on your big tankers there? We have a T7040 and a T7260, both New Holland's. Um, we've, had the, we've had the 7040 now, maybe five or six years, the 260. She come two years ago. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I suppose those big tankers, they need the bigger, yeah, longer that's it chassis too. tractor. Long wheel based tractor, a wee bit more weight, maybe a wee bit more power, more comfort for the driver too. And then your tractor of choice for this job? I was always told that you put the oldest tractor on the pipe system. <laughs> <laughs> but she's doing the job. She does the job. What is she's she? A, she's a T6070 range command. She's, she's here six or seven years too. Ah, so she's your happy enough oh uh, yeah when it comes to sally's time what what what's your department i drive the the big bumblebee <laughs> the custard chucker the custard chucker <laughs> <laughs> and i see your buck rack in there with a 419 419 we've had it now three seasons well well impressed with the, the 419 i had volvos before that and then we went jesse b and i don't I think it'd be hard to turn me now after that 419. Well look Daniel, thanks very much for allowing us to come out. It's fantastic to see that you, you've bit the bullet and it, that you're, uh, you, you know, you're trying something different and, and growing that side of the business. Uh, and watch this space, um, with the Stuart Agri Limited coming <laughs> now and uh, hopefully we'll get back out and see you in your custard chucker. You're more than welcome Tell. <laughs> more than welcome. Well lovely, thank you very much. No problem um, at all. Happy motoring in your new pipe system. Thank you. And maybe, maybe in another couple of weeks there'll be no more knots. <laughs> we'll have it mastered, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. <laughs>